Uh, Harrison Butker, Kansas City Chiefs kicker, sparks backlash for commencement speech. What did he say at this graduation speech? Let's take a look at this clip. He pissed people off. Yeah. Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. In a controversial commencement speech at Benedictine College over the weekend, three-time Super Bowl champion Harrison Butker railing against everything from President Biden to Pride Month to IVF and speaking directly to the women in the audience. I can tell you that my beautiful wife Isabel would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife. So he talked about values and principles of the roles of men and women. Yeah. At the end of the day, we do what we do because mm -hmm. we need to protect and provide. Sure. That's our role. So our, and our role is protect and provide. Yeah. So Carl, I'd love to know what's your, what's your definition of a woman, even though she may have a career, even though she may have, you know, I've, I've met, you know, the person you're in a relationship with right now. Yeah. She's aspiring to have a career too as well. But is it only meant for a woman just to say, I'm a career woman or, are we really kicking up a lot of fires because he says the normal vocation for a woman is to be a mother? He's not wrong at all. And it, it really goes to show you the backlash that's come out of this, where we are in society yeah, and how, how skewed yeah. the, the view of what the roles that men and women play are. As he said, no woman in that crowd was thinking about when I become the CEO of... Uh -huh. There's a reason why Barbie is always in a wedding dress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, from a very young age, women are groomed and primed to become homemakers yeah. and wives and mothers. By the way, let's, let's cut to the clip because I saw the full commencement speech. I watched the whole thing. Yeah, this I watched the whole thing. Okay, so we, can we cut to 1242 of the full commencement speech, Jordan? Uh, 12 minutes, 42 seconds of, of the full commencement speech. Um, can, we, can we cue that up? And what the actual reaction was from the audience yeah. of graduates, of mothers, yeah. of women that graduated they college, did. and aunties and grandmas. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look. I'm beyond blessed with the many talents God has given me, but it cannot be overstated that all of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school get emotional. would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, Homemaker. Listen. <laughs> the audience is cheering. Yeah. Yeah. And the audience is cheering. Okay, we, we can stop there. The audience is cheering. Meanwhile, if you cut to my, if you cut to my, um, if you cut to my screen, uh, to Jordan, over 200,000 people have voted to dismiss Harrison. See that 200,000 right there in the middle? 222 signed this petition to dismiss him as a kicker, get your job, get you fired from your job. And then there's another petition to keep his job, support him. So what's your reaction to people cheering in the audience? It's filled with women, it's filled with these grandmas, it's filled with these mothers, they're cheering him on. We, we, we've got to understand that these extreme left liberal views are the views of the few, but unfortunately, that few are the majority, uh, control yeah. the majority of yeah. enterprises. Yeah. And again, for me, this more necessitates the need because the NFL has come out saying, you know, we don't share his views. He spoke in, in his own capacity. Right. The Kansas City Chiefs said the same thing. Yep. And the city of Kansas City said yep. the same thing. Yep. Now, what does that say for me? My view is this now necessitates the need for the likes of us to use enterprise to promulgate the kingdom. Because right. nothing he said there was wrong. Yeah. Everything was faith-based. Yeah, he's, he's been at Catholic school, Catholic uh, Precisely. University. You know, so what do you expect him to say? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but what's, what's making me angry with situations like this we've seen oftentimes is people render their personal views, faith-based typically, yeah. and they get counseled, they lose their jobs. But I'm more looking at who is in the capacity to actually counsel you. It's yeah. someone who runs an enterprise. Yeah. You know, it's someone who runs a business right. that necessitates us believers, us Christians to yeah. be in positions of influence and power to make sure that we're safeguarding individuals like yeah. this. You know, we're using our platform, our enterprise yeah. to promulgate the kingdom right. and the, these kind of views. Yeah. But unfortunately, we see in the world that we live today that those people in such capacities, yeah. which 
are which represent the few essentially yeah. um are the ones who have opposing views and yeah. when stuff like this come out it's very easy for them to say cancel you lose your job out and here's what gets celebrated jordan can you show my screen real quick here's the tale of two kansas city chiefs Travis Kelsey gets invited to speak at a commencement speech. Mm -hmm. Guess what he does at the commencement speech? Chugs a damn beer. This guy it's ridiculous. talks about faith-based values and principles, role of a man and a woman. Yeah, you can see the contrast. The, the, and then he gets, you know, he went to, everyone wants yeah. him fired. Yeah. Uh, what's your relationship with your mother? Very good. Very good. What's your relationship with your mother? I know, very good. Amazing. My relationship with my mother. And guess what? My mother was a nurse, right? And she did a great job being a mom, yeah. but she was also a nurse. My wife is a great entrepreneur, my partner. Yeah. And guess what she is? She's a great mom. Yeah. So why are we ridiculing the position of women to continue humanity? The God entrusted not men, but the womb of a woman. Yeah. To continue. And through a woman's womb, we have likes like you. Absolutely. We have likes like you. We have likes like you. We have dreams, we have goals. Who's going to make changes in our country and our community because we we're mothered. Yeah. We were raised by a mother. So, um, man. So, listen, here, here's the crazy part. And guess who also responded? Let our money dictate what people are thinking. If you look at my screen again, here's the, one of the most popular jerseys sold so far this week. His jersey. There's nothing like bad publicity. <laughs> <laughs> who, by the way, who buys a kicker's jersey? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? And guess which jersey is sold out? His. Women's. Oh, the women's jerseys. Women's jerseys are sold out. Way to support. Women's jerseys are sold out on, uh, on, on this. And yet, I, I don't have much too much time to get into it, but where was the, where was the stink when all this happened to other uh, uh, NFL athletes? Arrest for DOI, right? Reckless driving, drug possession, arrest. Where are the petitions? There are no petitions. Oh, it's just another player doing his thing. But the moment this guy talks about being a good man, being a, a, a woman, father, mother, he gets these things to get booted off. Listen, oh, I'm, not, I'm not surprised with all these things happening because, again, everything I do, my entire outlook on life is rooted in the gospel. And Christ says this, you know, in the latter days, men would be haters of good and love evil. Yes. And this is exactly what we're seeing playing out. And the rights are wrong and the wrongs are right. 100%. That's right. You know, so yeah. we got the memo. Yeah. First and foremost, right, we got it. but we have a duty yeah. to be in positions of power and influence yeah. to safeguard those who choose Christ, yeah. you know, and Amen. choose truth. Amen. Essentially, we have a duty. We're duty bound by that. So my prayer, my hope is that more women don't feel ashamed about taking the traditional role. Absolutely. Right. That more women aren't ashamed about taking a traditional role. Yeah. You all don't have to be a woman. If you don't want to be a mom, that's that's that's, that's fine, too. But the moment somebody has an opposing view than you, when it became bad, when do we have to start canceling people because they have an opposing view? There should be a, a conversation to be had. We yeah. start to take you from education to enlightenment. Revelation, absolutely. What, what, what you from, so from academics to education yep. and revelation. And revelation. revelation, yeah. Amen. We need more revelation absolutely. in people's lives. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.